So I recently discovered how to make these crazy AI images of myself. And here's how you can make them too. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is head over to replicate.com. You do have to sign up for an account here and you will have to input a credit card, but this is totally usage-based. It comes out to like a dollar to actually train the model. So it's totally worth it. You're not gonna have to sign up for a subscription. So just create an account and put your credit card and yes, it's gonna cost you a couple dollars. Next, you're gonna come over to the search bar and we're gonna type in Luca and you'll see all of these Luca tacos here. Luca taco is basically the developer that created this Flux model that we could train. So we'll go ahead and click on his profile here and then we're gonna to have to search for the correct AI model. And so we're looking for AI toolkit. Looks like it's gonna be pretty far down here. Here it is. 46,000 runs, AI toolkit. So this is one that you're gonna hit here. It should look like this. And then you're gonna come over to train. So on the train page here, this is where we're going to actually train it on our face so that when we prompt it, we can say, hey, create an image of Nick with Superman or with Bill Gates. This is how we're actually going to train the AI model on what we look like. So the first thing that we're gonna get started with here is the destination. So you'll go ahead and click create new model and you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna say Nick's YouTube model. You go ahead and, and leave that as public. And then you're gonna have to upload a minimum of 12 images to actually train the model with. And how you upload these is very important. So when you have all of your images, you're gonna have to name them like this. So it says a photo of Nick. You're gonna put a photo of whatever you wanna call the image or yourself or the person that you're gonna be prompting the AI with, right? So this is very important. So when I go and I prompt the AI model, I'm gonna say, uh, Make me a photo of Nick in an airplane. Make me a photo of Nick playing soccer. You have to put this in the actual file names of your photos or this will not work. So if your name's Matt, a photo of Matt. If your name is Brian, a photo of Brian. Make sure that you put your name in here or whatever you wanna call the object. After that, you're gonna go ahead and select them all and then compress them into a zip because we need a zip file in order to upload to this model. So once we have that, we'll go ahead and upload our zip file here. And then model name, we can go ahead and leave this as is, but we will have to get a hugging face token. Now don't freak out. I know you're probably thinking this is so complicated. I just wanna be able to prompt AI and make cool images of myself. Don't worry, it's not complicated. Just follow these directions and it will be super simple. So you're gonna come over to huggingface.co and I will put all of the links in the description here and you're gonna to have to create an account. Now you don't have to pay anything for this. You're just gonna come over and create a free account and that will give you access to the access token that you'll need as well as creating a new model. One step back here before we actually give it our access token and new model, make sure that you come to this link. I'm gonna put it in the description, basically the flux.1 dev model. You do have to request access to this model you get instantly approved. But in order for this to work, you will have to get access to this model and basically get this model approved for your Hugging Face account. So I'll include that link in the description. Make sure to do that, or otherwise when you run the model, it will not work. Okay, so back on the Hugging Face homepage here, you're gonna click on your profile picture and then come down to access tokens. And I already have one created here, but let's go ahead and create a new token. So you can name this whatever you want. I'm gonna say Nix. YouTube token, go ahead and give it all the permissions just in case it needs those. Um, and this is basically just giving it access to, uh, actually let's not do billing, um, just giving it access to everything in this token. So let's create that token. I'm going to blur this so you can't see it, but uh, let's go ahead and copy that. And then once we have that, we're gonna come back to replicate.com and go ahead and paste in that token there. Now scrolling down here, steps 1000, we can leave all of this default. So resolution, linear, uh, repo ID. Now repo ID, we will have to go and create at Hugging Face. So we're gonna go back to Hugging Face, 
click on your profile again and say new model. This part is important. You need to make sure that you name it whatever you're going to put in replicate.com. That will make sense here in a second. But again, I'm gonna say Nick Conley, uh, Nick YouTube model. We're gonna add uh, this as public and then we're going to create model. Now, we're going to copy this right here and then you're gonna put this in exactly like it is. So you need to make sure you have this whole string. So Nick Conley dash Nick's model, um, Nick's YouTube model. And it has to be exactly like that because it's basically going to read between the two. So make sure that is all set up and we are ready to go. Now you're basically renting GPUs to train this model with from replicate.com. So that's why you will need your credit card in here, but it should only take like a dollar or two to actually train the model. Let's go ahead and send it and create training. Okay, so that just took a second here. Now uh, we can see the training page and it's starting over here. Um, so this will take a little while. You'll see that the logs will start to show you what's going on. Um, basically, it'll show that the model is getting trained. Um, so you're gonna have to let this run for a little bit and I will pop back in here when it is done running. Okay, and we're back. So it was taking a bit too long and I wanted to get on with this video. So I went ahead and just went back to one of the ones I've already ran. So as you can see, I ran that same exact prompt before to train the same exact model and it took a total of 38 minutes. So it does take a little while to train it, but that's okay because after it's done training, you can prompt this model as much as you want. It's well worth the wait. You just gotta do it one time and then you're good. So this is what it should look like after it's done running. You should see succeeded here. And now we're actually ready to start using the model. So what you can do here is we're going to use another one of Luca Taco's models to actually prompt this model that we just trained. So you can go ahead and click on this and then Luca Taco. And then what we are looking for is his Flux Laura dev model. So it's right here. This is the image that it'll be flux dash dev dash Laura, 2.5 million runs. And just go ahead and click on that. Okay, so this is the default on this page. We'll go ahead and walk through the different things that need to change. This is where we will actually be prompting the AI model to what we want it to build. We'll come back to that in a second here. This is the aspect ratio. You could totally leave it one to one. That would be good for like a LinkedIn profile picture, like a Twitter profile picture. I'll go ahead and change it to 16 by nine just because that's more of like the YouTube thumbnail type of picture. You can actually prompt it with another image. We're gonna leave that blank here. And then if you wanted to correlate the prompt to the image, you could uh, slide this up and down. We won't worry about that right now. The default number of outputs is one. Let's go ahead and change that to two. That'll give us two pictures every time that we prompt it to make us an image. Let's go ahead and leave the number of steps on the default 28. The guidance scale, let's leave that on 3.5, which is the, the default. And then the HF underscore Laura, this is where we're actually gonna have to go back to hugging face and make sure that we grab the correct model to prompt this with. Now, the model I created in this video was Nick Conley dash Nick's YouTube model. This is the one that we would be using if I didn't use the old model that I trained. But since I didn't want to wait for it, we're gonna go ahead and use one that I've created in the past here. So just go ahead and paste your model string in here that you grab from hugging face. Now that was from the, uh, the previous step when we were actually training the model. And this should be all good to go now. So now we'll go back up to the top and you can prompt the AI to create whatever you want. And this is the important part of why you needed to make sure to include the name of the object or the person in the photos when you are training the model. So in, in my example, I put this is a photo of Nick in all of the photos. So the model is trained off of Nick. So in this prompt, if we want to see me, if I, if I want to create an image of myself, I need to prompt it with the word Nick. So we'll go ahead and say a photorealistic picture of Nick dunking a basketball in, a, in an arena. Uh, change that and let's send it. Now you can see it working in the background. It does take a little bit for this to actually create the photo, but it's a lot quicker than actually building the model. So you can see it's building up here 50%, 54%, 57%. Um, so I'll come back here in one sec when it's ready. <laughs> and there it is. Look at this. 
This actually looks sort of like a, a Jordan-esque picture. I mean, that kind of looks like me, right? That one, not so much. Now these aren't like super up close, but it definitely has the basic shape of me. Like it, it understands me. This is awesome. This is like, we can prompt this to do anything we want now. So let's go ahead and change this up a little bit, see what else we can get it to do. Let's say a photorealistic close up picture of Nick making a confused face under a light in a dark room. The more that you prompt this or the more details you give it, the better it's going to be. So let's also say like he does not have his mouth open and does not have any facial hair. Let's see what it thinks about that. Okay. And here we are. This one is a little bit freaky. I'm not gonna lie. It looks like a horror movie, but it did exactly what I said, right? This one I think actually looks like me. I don't know, you tell me. I think this one is spot on. One thing we can also do, so we can also come down here to advanced settings. We well, wanna make sure this is in PNG or JPEG. So we have it set to WebP. You can't do anything with WebP. We can also change the output quality so we can turn it up to 100. As you can see, these are like a little bit blurry. I don't love that. So we wanna make sure if you actually wanna use this image for something, you could turn this up to um, 100 output quality and that should give it a little bit better of a resolution. But overall, I'm pretty happy with these. Now let's try one last thing and I wanna see if it understands other famous people. So I'm gonna say a photorealistic picture of Nick hanging out and laughing with Elon Musk. No idea if it's gonna be able to make a realistic photo of uh, Elon Musk or if it knows what Elon Musk looks like, but let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. And here we go, the moment of truth. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so it did not understand who Elon Musk is, although I think this is supposed to be a mix of me and Elon Musk. This scarily looks like me as well, but these are very, very intricate. Like you could tell that the quality's way up because I, I changed the quality up to 100. It clearly doesn't know who Elon Musk is. So we'd probably have to go back to the model, train it again on Elon Musk as well. I also spelled Elon Musk wrong. That could be it. You know what? It costs like 10 cents to run all these, but I wanna make sure that it wasn't because I spelled Elon wrong. Let's try running this one more time and see what happens. Let's go. You know what? <laughs> That is pretty funny. Okay, so it's me hanging out with Elon Musk. Now, Elon Musk looks like a, uh, it looks like me with a mixture of Elon Musk is how they made Elon Musk. Like this is, I think, supposed to be Elon Musk. Like it's it's kind of his same head shape, but it has like my face on it. But this, this is me. That's definitely me. And I think there's just so many use cases with this, right? Like you can make new profile pictures. You could use it for a YouTube thumbnail. Just imagine, no more worrying about taking the perfect thumbnail. Just tell AI how you wanna look. You don't even have to edit it afterwards, right? You could tell it exactly what to put on the screen. And there's just so many use cases for this. So if you found this helpful, please drop a like, hit subscribe. Let me know if there's any cool prompts you guys find. The ones playing around with like superheroes or in front of large crowds or playing sports. I think those ones work really well, but let me know if there's any cool prompts that you found that I should try out. And as always, appreciate you guys and peace. Party.